Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, we are going to be using the Ivy Grower plugin to cover our columns in Ivy. Now, the Ivy Grower plugin is free, and the link to that is going to be part of this blog and uh, will be here on the video page. Um, I've already installed it, so if I just go up here to the Ivy Grower plugin, we've got a whole load of options and things that will allow us to experiment and play with how our ivy grows up our columns. Now I found it's much easier to remove these from the group, otherwise it wants to try and get across all of them in that particular uh, null object. So I'm just gonna start very simply with say the one at the front, which is that one, let me just check, yeah. So if I go to my ivy grower, you get this little icon, that is your arrow with a few dots on it, and that's asking you to select a starting point. So with my Loft 2 selected, I just double click, okay, and that gives me a starting point. And you simply just, um, I'm just gonna uh, put all of my factory things to default, and if I was to press Grow Ivy, you'll see that it, it starts to, but it doesn't really get very far, okay. So I'm gonna just click Stop and then Ungrow so that we're back to zero. And it's because we need to increase our ivy size just a tad. So what I'm gonna do, um, you find that 001, if you then uh, click grow ivy, it starts to, but it's incredibly tiny down the bottom left hand corner. And that's going to be a little bit ridiculous for this. So I'm just gonna click stop, and then I'm gonna ungrow. And I found that something about 001 works a little better for me. You may want to increase that. You could go for 002 if you want to. So if we just try that and then click Grow Ivy, there we go. You can see that it starts to spawn all of these wonderful little ivy sort of trails that are moving their way up. And you can keep an eye on it to see the ones that are working their way up each sort of part of this column, which is quite nice. And you see that it's starting to fold in on itself and it's working its way all the way around. So you can keep an eye on that to see how much you want it to work. And you know, when you think it's enough, you can click stop, okay? And therefore that has written those splines and you can see where it is going to put the ivy once I go to the next part, okay? Which is called birth. So you click on the birth bit and you uh, give birth to the ivy. So if I just press give birth, boom, there you go. Okay, you've got this lovely looking ivy all the way across. Now you can lower its branch sizes or the leaf size, um, although I'm quite happy with the leaf size, but I might just shrink it a little bit and then see what that looks like. And then give birth. You can see that that shrinks a little bit and you can change how much leaf density there is. So if you give birth again, once you've updated those settings, you can see that we've got you know, a nice sort of thinner spread of that, or if you want it to be really thick, you know, you can go up like that and it's a bit mental, or go really low and we get some scraggly leaves, which we're gonna use a little bit later on on that one. But I think I'm gonna go about, you know, 50-ish, sorry, 0.5-ish, give birth, and there we go, we've got this nice ivy working its way around. And now it's a simple case of just doing that to each of the others. So choosing a starting point where you want the ivy to grow from, you know, you might want to choose something from around the side there, and then go back to the ivy grower growth and click grow and watch it spread its way across. And we're just gonna let this do its thing as it works its way up the ivy. Okay, and you just basically moving your way around. It might be a case that you do a little bit like that. Click stop, birth, give birth to it. There we go. And then maybe we want to cheat and we'll do a second one round the sort of like the back there and then grow that ivy so that we can see when it comes to the front that we've got, you know, some thicker parts, some more ivy sneaking its way around. I do love the fact that you can see it sort of doing it as it goes. There we go. Okay, and then if you click stop growing and then birth it, boom. Okay, so you can see that it looks like it's growing up from the other side. And when you click birth, what it does, it creates this null object here that's effectively all of the leaves and the branches and things, and you can move those about. So if we are unhappy with where it has put those, you know, we can move it up, we can move it down. Okay, depending on what we want to do. 
um, you know you can rotate what you've got around as well so I mean at the moment my rotate is there so if I just if I rotated you could do that but then you know you could readjust and put it back um, where it needs to go so it's entirely up to you you know where you want to place this ivy and how you want it to look um, you know and we're sort of starting to get that feeling that there is quite a lot of ivy on this so I'm just going to do that quite quickly to the others in a minute but the one I want to just focus on before I do that I'm just going to move that up so it's hiding its way there we go that's cool okay is just the is the group down there so under the Voronoi fracture because it's a, a group I can select a particular point okay and because it's a group I can select that and then double click say on the top and it's here that I shall grow my ivy so that it spreads its way over and it should start to spread its way over all of the points as well. So it doesn't just choose the segment I have selected, it's working its way over all of them, moving its way, sort of enveloping them in this ivy that we've got going, which I'm really quite happy with, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and that stopped itself there. Marvelous, and then I'm going to give birth to the ivy plugin, there we go. But this time I want there to be a lot less leaves. I want it to feel a little bit more dead, like it's struggling to grow over them. And there we have the ivy sort of creeping up each one of those, which is quite nice. So I'm just gonna do that very quickly to the other three columns, and then I shall slow the video back down and we shall carry on. Okay, there we go. So I'm quite happy there. We've got a, a variety of different sort of grown columns there that give a lovely ivy grower track to that. Excellent. Okay, so I will see you in the next part of the tutorial where we will add the rest of the landscape, texture, light, and render. See you in the next tutorial.